The ability to function and to interact socially are crucial for the physical and psychological development of all children. These basic needs apply equally, if not more so, for the successful physical and mental development of children with neuromuscular disorders. Darren is six years old and diagnosed with cerebral palsy. Standing requires considerable energy. His spine is flexed and rotated. There is decreased walking capacity and increased energy consumption as a result of scissoring secondary to high adductor tone. Having to use both hands for balance, sitting instability significantly diminishes Darren's ability to interact with his environment. The swash orthosis has been prescribed for Darren to help maintain hip integrity, enhance sitting stability, and prevent scissoring gait. Swash requires fitting by a certified orthotist who has also received certification from CAMP for the fitting and application of the orthosis. Without swash, Darren's spine is unstable. Swash enhances standing stability while minimizing spinal flexion and rotation. Walking is difficult at best for Darren without the orthosis. Swash provides just enough abduction so he can walk without scissoring, thereby using less energy. Darren is limited to a cocoon of function while sitting. The swash opens a larger envelope of function by providing a tripod base of stability, allowing him to use both hands while sitting. Swash controls the movement of the femur in a pattern similar to normal function. High tone can result in excessive adduction and internal rotation that can lead to hip dysfunction. Swash offers improved alignment of the femoral head in the acetabulum. These x-rays follow a child from initial fitting to three years post-fitting. Notice the reduction of subluxation and the improvement in pelvic alignment as the child matures. Alan is five years old and also diagnosed with cerebral palsy. Just standing requires considerable energy. His spine is flexed and rotated. Swash increases Alan's envelope of function with enhanced postural control and balance. Swash transfers adductor tone proximally to help provide trunk stabilization. This improves spinal alignment and allows him to better participate in his exercise program. Walking is often limited only to therapeutic exercise programs. The swash limits adduction just enough to prevent scissoring during gait. With complications minimized, the capacity for walking is increased. Having to use both hands for balance limits Alan's functional capacity when sitting. Sitting capacity and therefore upper limb function is increased by the swash. As the hips are flexed, the swash induces increasing amounts of abduction to provide a stable tripod base for sitting. Kayla is three and a half years old and is hesitant to sit without using her hands for touch balance. With the swash, she is much freer to use her upper extremities to interact with her environment. Circle sitting stability is generally enhanced by the use of swash. Swash, opening new opportunities for effective management of hip integrity while enhancing standing, walking, and sitting stability. Swash, opening new horizons and functional freedom and fun.